Saints D here, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, you're going to be playing a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I have seen game theory about this, I know, I haven't spoiled about the game, but, um, not too much about it. Because I didn't see the full video, I just saw some of it. But I wanted to do this game myself. Supposedly, it's supposed to be a horror game, so, we're going to go ahead and try this out. Okay, individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing the game. Content warnings, please visit. Uh, I agree. Dang, they're kicking us with this music. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see you. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to a new game. Let's enter your name. My name is Jeff. Just blindness. There we go. Hey! I see, I see an annoying girl running toward me for the dis from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obviously to. to Obvious, to totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. She's basically, Bruh, look at this dude. That girl is Sai Sai Sayori. Say Sayori, my neighbor, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. Ah, uh, ch childhood friends. You know the kind of friend you've never seen yourself making to yourself making today. But it's just kind of. It just kind of works out because you are know each other such a long time. So long. Okay. We used to walk to school together on days. Together on days. Like this. But starting around high school, she would sleep. She would oversleep over and more fre frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Ah, lazy. Lazy ass. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Okay. Run away then. Actually, don't run away. It's, it's messed up. She's your friend. She's your friend. Um, she hot. However, I just sign an idol in front of my cross crosswalk and let Sayori say or I can't even pronounce that. Sayori catch up to me. Sayori. Ha! 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 ha. I overslept again, but I cut up this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. E you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Oh, sorry, Sayori. That's mean, Blackness. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, if people stare at me, stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, okay. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Yeah, I did wait for you. You know, <laughs> nice friend. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Whatever you say. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. To school we go. As we draw near the streets become as we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with oh, other students making their daily commute. Okay. By the way, Blackness, have you decided on a club to join yet? No, I did not. A club. What? A club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Oh, they're stupid. No, I'm joking. I haven't been looking either. Hey, it's not true! Oh, okay, that's gonna be your voice for now on, okay? So, mind me, guys. I'm sorry. You told me you would join a club this year! I'm sure it's possible I did I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry, likes to sorry likes Sayori. I can't pronounce that again. Sayori likes to worry a li little too much about me when I'm perfectly con content just getting by on just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about I'm worried that you 
and learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. No, I have no skills, you know. I don't need to go to a club. Your happiness is really important to me. You know? Mm -hmm. You too, you too. Oh, I feel like we're communicating more. I feel like we're getting along. A lot better. Oh, that's a nice house in the background. Right there. And I know you're happy. You're not. You, I know you. <laughs> I don't know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a meat in a few years. Because you're not used to the real world. Nah, no, 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 this is the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I won't. I'll look at a few clubs if that makes you happy. No. No promises, I though. Would you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah. I guess I'll promise you that. Yeah! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Oh, oh shit, that was the fucking... The spray on top, it makes the room smell good. I wish I had to scare the crap out of me. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much makes me want to, to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. I were at school. The school day isn't as, as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. What can motivate me? Clubs! Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. Yeah, what clubs are we gonna check out? Is there, um... Is there a, um... A food club? Ha <laughs> ha, where we eat food? <laughs> no, that's what we have lunch for. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Oh, typical, typical anime. Nothing against anime, guys. Nothing against. I love anime. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and I realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me. I'm going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some, some encouragement, so I thought you know... Know what? No what? Say it, Sayori. Say it. What? Well, that you would, you could come to my club. Hmm, okay. What club? Sayori? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meaty. Oh, I don't want to be a meaty. Sorry, Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was aware of that she had any interest in the literature. In fact, I'm 90 In fact, I'm 99 percent sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my in my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Actually, I don't like literature that much. To be honest. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. See ya. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Jesus Christ, we're flipping mean. We're all free, man. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And not too, not, not too ski, made cupcakes and everything. And they have hard names to pronounce, man. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to, as, <laughs> as to plan, have planned all this out. Let out a sign. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! I'll for you to the literature club. And thus, today marks the day I told my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs a section of the school. I oh, oh, no, no, I skipped. No, I, I didn't want to skip. I didn't want to skip. Okay, I, okay. God damn it. Okay. 
Sorry, it's full of energy. Uh, I skipped again. Why did I click it? Why do I keep clicking these things? Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't don't call me a new member. Huh, I glance around the room. Oh, damn, she's looking gorgeous. Welcome to the literature club. Literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sayori. Sayori. Say. His names. Jesus Christ. Sayori always says always nice things about you. Jesus Christ! I gotta remember to wear my headset. I was like listening to music. I was just like, where's that music coming from? I hear music, but like I don't know where it's coming from. I'm just like, do I have the volume turned up? And my headset was off. I'm an idiot. Smack myself. So Sayori always says nice things about you. Ah, okay. Seriously, you brought a boy? Hey, you have anything against me? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Blackness, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to do that. What are you, what are you looking at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to say something, say it. S -s -s Sorry. Sorry. Not too skin. Not too skin. Hm. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently not too skin is only the only is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's possibly a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when you when she gets in the movie. Sayori says it quiet. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, that is Natuski, always full of energy. Oh, okay. And this is Yuri, the smart, smartest in the club. Don't say the, don't say things like that. She's pretty. I'm not gonna lie, Yuri's pretty. Yuri who appears com- Yuri who appears comfortably, comfortably, skip that word. More mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Yuri and Andrusko. Ah, well at least it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's a great it's great to see you again, Blackness. Monica smiles sweetly. Oh damn, she is gorgeous. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Eh, she's very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. Very beautiful. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little you know, to Monica. Come sit down, Blackness. We made room for you. You are you at the table, so come, you can sit next to me and Mon or Monica. Okay. Okay, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? That sounds nice. A tea party. I love tea parties. Wow, this party's about to get lit. No, tea, 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 tea. The girls, the girls have a few desk arrangements to form a table. I already mentioned it. It's been widened, so there's no one space to Monica. No one space necessarily. Matushka and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Matushka grabs a brass tray and Yuri opens the, clo the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sarah. Natushka proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you are. Are you ready? Ta da! Ooh, whoa! They look surprised. Natushka 
bits of foil off the tree and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated in little, like, to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate where were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at making me, Tuski. Tuski, I can't pronounce that right. Hey, hey, well, you know, you know me. I'm gonna make a cupcake, so I can make cupcakes. Delicious. Just hurry and take one. So he grabs the food. One first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! So Yuri talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. And Tuski is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she, is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good! <laughs> Thank you, Tuski. Why, why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Eh, I thought you technically did, they already said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you dummy. Jesus Christ, alright, alright. Jesus Christ, okay. Stop with the attitude. Stop with the attitude. I give up on a Tuski weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She is carefully placing a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher's gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good bit book? Ah, uh, I guess. I guess. Heh <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri. Just trying to impress you. Hey, that, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe, I believe you. Well, tea and read, maybe. Not to be past the time for me. But I, at least I enjoyed the tea. At least enjoy the tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises her eyebrows, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should have taught Monica that I was practically dragged here by Saru. Well, I haven't joined any clubs, and Saru seemed really happy here. So, yeah, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to take the to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Okay, Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own... You said it? I didn't read that perfectly, but yeah, I, I got the major basics of that. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Aha! Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take some, something I personally enjoy and making something special out of it. That encourages me to get into literature and I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica, really, it's a great leader. It's a great leader. Not it is a great leader. It's a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Man. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put that away. Not many people are very interested in putting, putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab the attention like literature. You know, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festival that much more important. I'm confident that you can, that we can all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. Well, do you, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees, and such different girls are all, 
all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with the, their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Blackness, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I don't have a good way of answering that, to be honest. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Tuski's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am, what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces to her room with the teacup with her finger. My favorite are usually novels that build up deep, complex, and fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing, and I didn't read that. It's all in a good story in which a world is unequally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly pa passionate about her reading. She seemed as reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how writing can so deeply take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah, for a this is a lot of reading, guys. <laughs> this is a lot of reading for one game. Oh my god, my head's fucking hurting. Oh, what the freak, man. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something. I can relate add to a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conservation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Oh my, that's fucking pretty. Same Yuri. Oh, I can't. Stop. The freak, I gotta stop. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes... What? If a story makes th makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. Only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why? That's fun. I mean, why that? What's that? Why is that? Well, I just... Matushki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Ntushki? Well, what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! And you're about to me. Give that back, bitch! Fine, fine. Eh, yeah, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you don't do is just as cute as you. Sari so settles up behind Natushka and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Tushki, not too ski. You write your own poems? Eh, <laughs> well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think. <coughs> well, excuse me. I think that's very. Uh, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share that them sometime? N no. Tushki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natushki feels. Sharing their, that level of writing takes much more. takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your reader, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of their heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can send, send, sit and help Natushki feel comfortable around you. Well, guys, that's been a lot of reading, so... so if you're Watching! Uh, yeah, the game crashed again, which is kind of for quite unfortunate. I don't know why it crashed, but it did. And the camera stopped working for some reason, and I got it to work again. I don't know, there's some weird functioning going on. But yeah, I'm very sorry. But yeah, that was all part one. I didn't really show anything afterwards. I didn't know the game crashed afterwards, but I didn't go any further because I noticed the camera wasn't working. So yeah, I would call that part one, and I'd be willing to do part two if uh, this gets 20 likes. So we can reach 20 likes, 
I will do part two of Doki Doki Literature Club. So yeah, hope you guys do enjoy your day. And yeah, have a fantastic day, guys. Bye-bye. Have a nice, fantastic, amazing, wonderful, marvelous day.